Hello, welcome to my channel. Happy Easter, everyone. Today, I will talk about several perfumes that will be wonderful for this weather. Springtime. You know, sometimes springtime is very weird. Sometimes springtime is very rainy, wet. Sometimes it's warm. But as far as I can remember, I remember my childhood being... Um, raining uh you know easter days are very marked in my mind as a child and a lot of times easter when easter comes around it's raining and i also remember one easter when we had an earthquake so um easters are very important to me of course they represent when jesus went up in heaven when he transfigured into light and went to heaven when he rose from the dead. That's what Easter means to me. Today, I'm not going to church or anything. Our weather is strange, um, rainy, windy, as you can see outside. Um, we are having some um, warnings from the weather apps also that, uh, yeah, we might have a flash flood. Right now, the rain is kind of died down a bit but it's windy anyway um i hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button and give me a like i'd really appreciate that uh, these are going to be perfumes that you can wear in the springtime i have two arabian ones uh, people also call them middle eastern i have two middle eastern um and a couple of classics i have actually i have three middle easterns here Mayar, I have Opulent Musk by Latafa. I've got Mora by Latafa also. This pink one right here with the lid. Um, so anyhow, let's get started. Okay, first perfume that I'm going to focus on right now is this wonderful one. This is called Boucheron. This is Boucheron Paris beautiful bottle look at that it's a pleasure to hold it's a pretty heavy bottle it's a beautiful floral um this is place vendome eau de toilette by the house of boucheron the accords on this perfume are floral citrus powdery rose fresh iris musky fruity woody and violet this is categorized as a floral woody musk and this is from 2013 you guys this is a beautiful beautiful perfume the only thing wrong with this perfume is that it doesn't last long on my skin i don't know if it will last longer on yours as everyone is different but on my skin this perfume does not last at all I still enjoy it i still like to smell it and as you can see it has a little dent this perfume was created by Oliver Cresp and Natalie Larson. So I guess there was a place in France called Place Vendôme. Um, and there was a perfume also called Place Vendôme Francis in Eau de Parfum form. And it came about after the address in Paris. I guess it's an address in Paris where Frederick... Boucheron opened his first jewelry store in 1893. So, like I said, this is a beautiful perfume, beautiful house, beautiful history, but it doesn't last long on my skin. Nevertheless, I enjoy it. The top notes on this one is yuzu, which is a sweet, bitter type of citrus. It also has peony and osmanthus in its first top notes. Some of the greatest perfumes that are out there um, have osmanthus. It's a beautiful um, floral greenish type of scent. It's sweet also. Um, some of the middle notes on this one is iris, rose, and jasmine. I don't really quite smell the rose in this, but I do smell the jasmine. A lot of the perfumes that I'm going to talk about right here have jasmine as either a middle note or a top note. The base notes on this perfume are white musk and cedar. This is a beautiful, beautiful perfume, you guys. It's very classy, but I wish it lasted longer. So that is Boucheron Paris, Place Vendôme. 
eau de toilette. Maybe it doesn't last long because it's a noted toilet. I don't know. Maybe I got to try the perfume. I would have to risk it, guys. This reminds me of like a snake skin, doesn't it? Okay, so put that one there. The next perfume is Elizabeth Arden White Tea. This is a beautiful, classy type of perfume. Um, I got a lot of comments um, about this one in the app where I was um, watching and looking at all of the um, notes on this Elizabeth Arden perfume. Now you guys, I have a lot of Elizabeth Arden perfumes because I really enjoy them. Um, this lasts a long time. It lasts a long time on my skin. This is Elizabeth Arden White Tea Vanilla Orchid. Um, it is considered a woody floral mask from 2017. And the makers of this perfume wanted it to be simple and wanted it to be pure and refreshing. So this has been described as tea. When you're first drinking it, the first sip, the first smell you get in your nose, that's what this smells like. Um, the top notes on this perfume are sea notes, fern, clary sage, and mandarin orange. The middle notes are white tea, white iris, and ma mate, mate. I'm not sure what that is, guys. I'm thinking it's some kind of tea. The base notes are exotic woods, amberette musk, mallow, tonka bean, amber. This perfume has been described as rich, sophisticated, calm woods, cool, and a soapy bubble. It also has been described as very soothing to wear. So, um, you guys, this perfume is wonderful to, to wear when you're relaxing at home. Um, it lasted quite a while on my skin. I'm going to say about six hours and it's beautiful. Um, the bottle is very elegant, reminiscent of, um, Salvatore Ferragamo Signorina and also reminiscent of there is another perfumer that has very beautiful um, bottles such as this one very square simple type of um, art and um, right now I can't think of the name of it but it's a beautiful bottle a beautiful perfume try it out this springtime and this is white tea by Elizabeth Arden vanilla orchid Okay, this next perfume is a Middle Eastern perfume. This is Mora by Latafa. And I'm going to say that this is a dupe for a Delina. Does anybody know what Delina is? Has anybody heard of Delina? Oh my gosh, it is all over all over the perfume world. Um, and frankly, um, I have bought a lot of dupes from the house of Latafa of Delina. And I'm not getting really tired of it. I'm just like, why do I do this to myself? The Bacala, Bacala Rouge 540 and the Delina one. I have so many Middle Eastern perfumes that resemble those. And my nose should really recognize it right away. But I think it's so delightful when you first smell the sweetness that you just buy it. So I have bought all of my uh, perfumes Middle Eastern perfumes here by the warehouses where I always talk to you guys about. And there's also a store in town called the Oud Store. I also buy them there. So it's not like I'm buying them blindly. It just happens to be that I like the way it smells. And then I go home and it's like, oh, darn it, another Delina dupe. Oh, darn it, another uh, Bacala Rucha dupe. But um, it's all good. It's all good. I'm still going to wear them. I'm still going to talk about them, okay? So this is Mora by the House of Latafa. And this is a beautiful silky rose kind of fragrance perfume for women. It opens up very tangy, just like the Delina. Very sweet. And it's very warm and powdery. I don't really smell a rose in here. But um, the accords in this perfume are rose, musky, fruity, vanilla, fresh, tropical, soft, spicy, powdery, patchouli, and floral. Of course, of course, it's Delina. It's got to be patchouli and floral. It's got to be powdery. Um, the top notes on this one are rose, lychee, pink, pepper. The middle notes are rose, musk, lily of the valley. The base notes are musk, vanilla, patchouli. It's also compared to Maison Alhambra. 
Delilah. It's compared to Dark Kiss from Bath and Body Works. I don't get that, you guys. I really don't. But I do get um, the Delina. I get that. Yes. It smells beautiful. And it's a pleasure to hold it. Look at Just look at this bottle. Just look at this. Isn't it beautiful? It's a beauty. Okay. So, um, it was a very good price. I think this was under $20 at my perfume warehouse. Um, next perfume that I will be talking about and presenting is this one right here. Oi! I'm going to drop it. Every time I make videos, I drop things. Um, so this is Victoria's Secret. This is a limited edition. Isn't it beautiful? It's a limited edition. It's called um, Angel Summer, I think it is. Angel Heavenly Summer. That's what it's called. This is this is called Heavenly Summer by Victoria's Secret. It's a perfume from 2015. It's limited edition, and this is very linear. It only has two notes, and the notes are Oris and a Bergamot. Oris root comes from a purple flower, purple bluish flower called Iris. It has a distinctive, very powdery, earthy type of fragrance. And it also smells a little bit like violet flower. Um, it has nuances of violet flower. You guys, my plant is moving because I have the heater on. Okay, so that's why the plant is moving. Don't think I'm outdoors. Um, anyhow, so yeah, this is beautiful, you guys. It has a quartz of citrus, iris, powdery, fresh, spicy, aromatic, earthy, woody, and floral. You guys, this is a beautiful bottle. It's kind of an icy kind of a tone. And look at the Victoria's Secret wings. Um, it's beautiful. I love this bottle. I think it's been discontinued. Um, I haven't seen it. I bought this at the um, Victoria's Secret outlet when we had it here. It's closed now, but that's when I got this bottle. It's beautiful. It reminds me of um, the Dolce Gabbana blue bottle one. That's very classy. Also reminds me of that. And these are all beautiful perfumes to use for springtime, y'all. It's beautiful. A springtime is just beautiful. Don't you love it? Um, oh, look what I got at Target. It's like this fake little plant with like rabbit ears. Isn't it cute? At the dollar. Um, and look what I got also. This is at Target. So cute. I also got these two flowers. Um, the vase I got at a thrift store. Have I told you guys that I really love thrifting? Um, I got that copper vase floor, a flower um, vase at the thrift store and I also got this at a thrift store. I think you can hang it, um, but isn't this beautiful for springtime? Anyhow, um, let's keep going. I always seem to be distracted somehow and I don't know why um, uh, it might be some type of adult condition. I'm thinking adult ADHD or something. I'm not sure, but I do tend to get distracted. Hopefully it doesn't bother any of you. Um, okay, here we go. The next bottle is Michael Kors. A lot of people have this one. I think a lot of people have bought it at either Marshall's or Ross. I got it at a really, really good price. Um, under $17, I think. And this is Michael Kors Jasmine. Jasmine, glam jasmine glam jasmine it's a small bottle you guys this perfume is beautiful if you like jasmine if you don't like jasmine i don't suggest you getting it because it's a jasmine bomb this perfume has notes of white flowers cassis and sandalwood it has wide white florals and woody accords this jasmine is very screechy very strong uh, a lot of people don't like this perfume because of that but let me tell you i have had jasmine plants and at night especially they release their fragrance and they go all out these flowers really get to you when you're talking outside to someone and it's nighttime that wind when it comes by all you can smell is jasmine and jasmine is very screechy that is the natural state of jasmine screechy screechy smell 
In Spanish, we call it huele de noche, which means it smells at night. In Spanish, jasmine just means that it's going to give you a smell at night. You're going to smell it. It's going to be strong and pungent. And yes, jasmine is supposed to be strong just like this bottle, this bottle of perfume. All right. If you don't like jasmine, don't get it. But, you know, it's springtime, so that's why I'm talking about floral type of perfume. Next, I have this huge bottle of Guerlain. Now, this is um, a little strange to me because this bottle, I got it used at the perfume store. And uh, you guys, this in the bottom says that it is Guerlain Eau de Toilette Bloom of Rose. And it's a 3.3 100 ml bottle of this Guerlain. It smells beautiful. It's very elegant. I don't smell the rose in it. I, I don't know why I don't smell the rose in it. Um, because the top notes are citruses and lavender. The middle are Neroli, Bulgarian rose, jasmine sambar. And the base notes are Tahitian vanilla and sandalwood. Um, this, to me, I tried it out. And this, to me, it smells floral, but I don't smell the rose in it. Um, the dry down smells like wood, sandalwood that is. A little bit sweet, not too sweet. Mostly this is an earthy type of fragrance, a green fragrance. And it smells very, very good when you first spray it. Like I said, I just got this one. I got it used. I got an excellent price on it. Oof, look at it. Ooh, beautiful. Yeah, when, when you first smell it, it's like a tangy, like a, uh, I don't know, spicy thing that goes in your nose. Uh, a little floral, a little lavender, not a lot of rose. I smell mainly the neroli and the sandalwood. It's a beautiful fragrance, and I loved the price. I think I got it for $15, not bad for a Guerlain perfume. Okay, next is this La Tafa. I know I'm kind of late in the game of buying Middle Eastern perfumes. Uh, nevertheless, I love to buy them. I love to discover them. And this one is Opulent La Musk by La Tafa. Uh, people are saying, look at this beautiful bottle, guys. People are saying that this is a dupe for um, I think Buckle Rouge 540, they're also saying that it is a dupe for another one, which I don't know which one they're saying, but um, this has main accords of amber, musky, woody, warm, spicy, powdery, white floral, metallic, aromatic, leather, and animalic. Um, yes, it is all that. I love this one. I got a really good price for it. It was under $20 at my perfume warehouse. Um, it does smell like Buckle Rouge, um, 540, but on the dry down, it smells very woodsy. Um, it is animalic. Now, the top notes are white musk, saffron, lemon, white flowers, um, there's also some jasmine, some um, amber cedar, some resins, and some fur resin. Now, fur resin is what comes out of the pine tree when you buy a Christmas tree and you got a fur Christmas tree. If I are uh, those type of thick, oily branches the little oil that comes out and you put it in between your fingers and you go like this, that, that smells wonderful. It's earthy, it's woodsy, um, a little fresh. You guys, this is a beauty. I like it a lot. I usually mix it with some of my Bath and Body Works. Um, I mixed this one previously with this. I'm almost done with this. Um, I mix these two together and it makes this lasts longer and it makes it sweeter when I mix it with 
Paris Amour from Bath and Body Works. Um, now, you guys, this got really bad comments in Fragrantica. Some people were saying that it smells like a public restroom, like hospital, like medicine, like plastic, like ammonia. Well, you know, if you want to get negative, you can probably say something negative about each one of these perfumes. I'm not going to because I don't believe that it smells like all that. It does have that earthy, amber, cedar type of smell. The woods in it, that that's the animalic part. People just don't realize that, yeah, the animalic um, type of fragrances can smell like, you know, a hospital maybe or like a plastic or screechy or you know maybe it could smell like that but um listen this is well blended okay when you first spray it you get that sweetness uh probably from the jasmine um the risen in the fir in the christmas tree pine tree uh, makes it smell very um, earthy, which I love. And so, uh, no, I'm not going to say anything negative about it. I didn't, I enjoy it and I blend it with my Bath and Body Works. And I will be using it all the way through. Okay, next one is Chantilly Eau de Toilet Spray. And this is an American brand, uh, U.S. American brand classic this is chantilly eau de toilette this bottle is huge this bottle is huge this is 104 ml and this is by the house of dana okay classic fragrance the top notes on this one is lemon oil orange oil carnation the middle notes are damask rose spices uh, jasmine the base notes are sandalwood vanilla and patchouli um, this has elegant rose notes um, it is exotic it is sort of oriental and sweet and spicy um, it is sensual and soft um, so a lot of people in Fragrantica were saying that the old one was better. I don't know because I don't remember the old one. I mean, I do remember people talking about this when I was in high school. I couldn't afford any of this. Um, but this is perfect. It's not too strong. It's perfect for me and it has a little dent and I'm going to keep using it. So this is Chantilly Eau de Toilette Spray by the house of Dana Classic Fragrances. Uh, by um, an American maker, American house, okay? And it is an eau de toilette. I would love to smell the perfume, but I love this, you guys. I think this is going to be my uh, perfume I'm going to be wearing today, my scent of the day, since today is Easter. And I have a very last one, and this is my last um, um, thing that I have bought, my last perfume I have bought. Um, and this is Maiar. I bought this perfume not too long ago. Look at the beautiful bottle. Look at the beautiful blue. Just look at it. I, I don't even know. I, I can't with this beauty. Look at this. It's just beautiful. Look. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. That's all I'm going to be saying. Okay. So this is Maiar. And this is a beautiful Middle Eastern perfume. And it is... Um, it is a wonderful, fruity, rosy perfume, okay? It has top notes of lychee, raspberry, violet leaf. The middle notes are peony, or peony, white rose, jasmine, vanilla, and musk. And the accords could be fruity. The, score, the accords are rose, fresh, sweet, floral, tropical, aquatic, vanilla, and musky. Now, this is compared to YSL Baby Doll or Angel Nova and My Way and My Way Intense. I have the My Way, you guys, and I don't think it smells like My Way. I think this is original. Um, I think when you spray it, uh, the first thing you get, oh my gosh, is this beautiful, sweet, beautiful, sweet, fruity, uh, sweet fruits. Uh, mainly it smells like, I don't know, a little bit of pineapple, but it must be that raspberry. Um, it smells like violet leaf. Um, 
it's beautiful. This lasts a lot on my skin and on my clothing. And I do recommend this one for the spring. Um, another thing I want to say is thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be it for this video. Uh, please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button, please. I always forget to tell you guys that because I'm enjoying making these videos so much. I forget to tell you to turn on the notification bell. Um, I really enjoy making these, these perfume, these perfume, um, mini reviews and perfume videos for you all. So you can enjoy the things that I enjoy doing. If you like my content, please let me know and let me know in my comment, which perfumes you will be wearing this springtime, or just let me know what perfume you're going to be wearing for today, which is Easter. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate you guys and I hope you have a wonderful day, night or whenever you're watching my video. Have a great, great time with your families or if you're on your own, on your own on this Easter day. Amen. Thank you. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.